Hello everyone, in this chance, I would like to do presentation about leading small group discussion skill for completing one of my micro teaching project. But before that, let me introduce myself first. My name is Sukoma Widyade. You can call me Widyade. I'm from 6M micro teaching class. For your information, this presentation is divided into three sections. The first section is about the definition of leading small group discussion skill. The second section is about the components of leading small group discussion skill. And the third section or the last section is about the importance of leading small group discussion skill. So without any further ado, let's get started with the first section. It's about the definition of leading small group discussion skill. We can divide a uh, leading small group discussion into two terms. The first is about small group discussion and the second is about leading. Small group discussion is about conversation process among students in a group and leading refers to monitoring or guiding students activity during work in group or uh, during the discussion. So. We can combine that leading small group discussion is about the way how teacher uh, monitoring or guiding students uh, in a small group uh, when students are conducting uh, conversation or interaction to each other. To each other. Uh, it's like uh, sharing their ideas, sharing their uh, information, sharing their experience like that. Then we can continue to the second section is about the components of leading small group discussion skill. The first component is about focusing attention, refers to introducing the content or the problems. Uh, and it's usually like giving a question to stimulate a student's curiosity. And then the second component is about clarifying the problem or opinion, which is this component is related to the first component. After students uh, gave a question from teacher, uh, students will answer, uh, will uh, give their ideas, their information, their prior knowledge about the, their understanding the question. And teacher here, uh, uh, conducted to review uh, the student's opinion or the student's problem like that and the three components or uh, the third component is about analyzing students view whether uh, there is uh, the opinions are agreed or not agreed and whether there is an opinion who has a uh, who has a strong reason like that. And the fourth component is about enhancing students' opinions. It's about uh, rice key questions to students. Uh, for instance, like uh, giving uh, first uh, the first questions, and then we can continue to the uh, second question uh, to make a student's think critically and logically like that number five is about spreading opportunity to participate it refers to uh, giving a uh, size students chance in uh, to do in working on group it's like uh, when uh, we give a uh, opportunity to size students first uh, after that, we can raise a key question or we can choose uh, another student to participate also uh, answering the questions uh, to make uh, all students can participate in the discussion like that. And the last component is about closing discussion. It's about um, making summary uh, during the discussion, making summary of the discussion by uh, 
considering a student's assistance like that. And now we can move to the third section is about the importance of leading small group discussion skills and leading small group discussion skill is important to achieve group learning style to achieve learning uh, group learning style here means that uh, in to do uh, leading small group discussion skill uh, students will uh, interact to each other, sharing their ideas to, it, to each other, so it can uh, achieve a group learning style, not individual learning styles only, like that. And the second imp uh, important is about to increase students' confidence, for instance, like uh, shy students who previously cannot particip participate uh, during the discussion can also uh increase their confidence to communicating because all the students all the party all the students should have to participate in sharing their ideas or their information or their experience during the discussion so it can increase students confidence especially for size students and the importance number three is about to make students involved and participate uh, to make students involved in planning and communicating communicating like that like that and participate here means that uh, students uh, like previously students can participate uh, in sharing their information to each other and the last important things of leading small group discussion skill is about to enhance uh, understanding of students uh, whether uh, students in a student itself uh, or others like that so i think that's all about uh, my presentation if there is something wrong i do really apologize because i am still learning and yes i will continue to learn thank you for watching i hope you all in a good condition and bye bye